So first question is asking which is not polar, and we have basically four compounds here. So so I have number one here it says uh, I'm going to say which is not polar, and then I'm going to write out the uh, write out the chemical formulas for you. So I have this is CH two F two, and I have CH three COCH three. I have SiCH34, and finally CH3NCO. So let me draw the chemical compounds for these guys here. So which of these are not polar? So when we talk about polarity, we're talking about the difference in terms of electronegativity between two atoms here. So the first one here, I'm, I'm going to label this A here. So A here is CH2F2, right? So I'm going to have the carbon middle. Carbon is going to be in the middle here. It's going to be bonded to two hydrogens here, and also bonded to two fluorines here, right? So in this case here, I'm going to have a, I mean, ha I do have a, uh, it's, it is polar, right? In this case, I have, the fluorine here draws out electronegativity. Um, this is partial negative here and carbon makes it partial positive here. So it basically, I have electron, um, it's drawing away electron density from the molecule here. So fluorine is pushing, um, it's attracting, um, it has a negative charge, whereas carbon here would have a slightly over positive charge because of the dipoles that are created here. So in this case, this, this molecule, molecule here is polar. So A is polar, which means this here is not the correct answer. Uh, we can look at B here, which is CH3COCH3, right? So I'm going to have uh, this carbon a carbon bond here, and it's going to be bonded to an oxygen that's bonded to another CH3. And then I also have uh, CH3 uh, also like this, which means uh, this guy here should be a... I should be a double bond on the oxygen. So give me a second here. So I would have a double bond oxygen here, and this is bond CH3 like so. So this here is going to be my uh, chemical structure for this guy here. And here we also have a dipole, right? We have a dipole between, again, the carbon here is partial positive here, and the lone pairs on oxygen will make it partial negative, right? These lone pairs here are partial negative. Again, oxygen is pulling electron density away from the carbon here. So this guy here is also polar. So B is not our correct answer. We can look at C here. And C here, I have SiCH34, right? So Si will be our silicon, will be our middle guy here. So we bond it to CH3, 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 and CH3. And if let's look at our periodic table here, and let's see where silicon, how many bonds silicon make here. And silicon here, it's in group 14, which means it can make four bonds here. So again, I have four bonds here. It's going to saturate the silicon here. I don't, and these carbons are also saturated as well, which means there's no dipole moment here. If you look at the electronegativity between silicon and carbon, there's barely anything because again, they're in the same group here. So in this case, this, this guy here is nonpolar. So this here is my nonpolar structure because I have everything is saturated. Carbon's bond to four, uh, four things here. Silicon's also bonded to four things, which means there's no room for a dipole here. And the difference in electronegativity is very, very small here. So in this case, uh, silicon here will be my correct answer. And I'm going to verify that D here is also not the correct answer for you as well. I'm going to draw CH3 and the CO. And it says the carbon is double bonded to the nitrogen and oxygen here. So I'm going to bond, I'm going to have C here. It's going to be double bonded to um, to an oxygen here. And this is bonded to a nitrogen. Nitrogen here and bonded to CH3 like so. I believe this is our compound here. Um, so in this case, this guy here also has it has. It also has a dipole, right? As you can see, uh, carbon. The electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen. I have a partial negative here and a partial positive here, and then on nitrogen, I also have a partial negative here as well, right? So again, these two things are pulling electron density away from the carbon. Therefore, there is going to be. It is going to be a polar molecule here. Polar molecule here. So therefore, C here is my correct answer. Um, so polarity is caused. By uneven electron density, that's good. CF4 is nonpolar because all of the atoms surrounding the carbon are identical. This is not the case with CH2F2. And therefore, it has a higher boiling point, but doesn't really 
Um, does it really describe here our correct answer? So I'm going to say here this is an incorrect solution or incomplete solution. Uh, the molecule that is polar would be um, would be basically SiCH34 because um, or nonpolar, sorry, nonpolar, 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 obviously because um, silicon is bonded to four different compounds and carbons are also saturated saturated therefore um, therefore uh, therefore it does it does not allow for a dipole moment electronegativity difference difference between s silicon and carbon are small small therefore not therefore even electron density i'll say so this here is an incomplete solution uh, the molecule here is again silicon uh silicon this would be a uh, bonded to a four methane group so the solution i'm gonna say is incorrect just because it's an incomplete solution here